Good evening. Today I'm going to be graphing another reciprocal function, but with the, the help of a table of values. So this is y equals f of x, and I want to look for 1 over f of x. OK, so I'm just going to start here at x equals negative 4, right here, and y is negative 2. So negative 4 and negative 2. Oops, let me just quickly change the function that I have here. So negative 4 and negative 2. And 1 over y is just going to be negative half. Just because negative 2 is placed right here. 1 over negative 2, negative half. OK, so that's negative 4. Negative 3 will be the same story. Negative 3 comma negative 1. Negative 3 comma negative 2 becomes negative half also, right here. Then we have negative 2 comma negative 1. Negative 2 comma negative 1. And 1 over negative 1 is just negative 1. So then we have negative 1 comma 0, this point right here. Negative 1 comma 0. 1 over 0 doesn't exist. So we have an asymptote there. And I'm going to draw that right now. Right here. Well, that wasn't too bad. It was kind of straight. Um, then we have point 0, 1. 0, 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Uh, let me just quickly extend the, these lines. It's going to look a little bit bad, but <laughs> hopefully it makes sense to everyone. Uh, then we have point 1, 2. And 1 over 2 is half. Then we have point 2, comma 2. 1 over 2 is half again. And it continues being half all the way through here. OK, so now I'm going to graph each point here. Negative 4, comma, negative half. So negative 4, comma, negative half across here. That looks like negative half to me. Then negative 3 and also negative half. And uh, as you can see, um, negative 5 and negative 2 here will actually become negative half also. That's true for this point here as well, negative 6 and negative 7. So we actually have a straight line here at half. It won't look too straight when I draw it, but it should be straight at negative half. Then uh, we have negative 3 and negative half. Oh, I already drew that. Sorry about that. Then we have negative 2 and negative 1 right here. Oops, that looks terrible. So it converges down this way. And then as we go from negative 2 to negative 1, the graph goes, the f of x graph goes from negative 1 to 0. So we're going to actually go dip down to negative infinity right here. Oops, shouldn't touch that asymptote, but it should just get really close to it. Um, then, OK, at negative 1, we have an asymptote. 1, comma 1, the graph goes through here. 2 and half. I said 2 and half, but it should have been 1 and half. Sorry about that. Then we have 2 and half. Sorry if I'm making this more confusing than it should be. <laughs> Then finally, all these points are going to be half also, because they're all equal to 2 for the y value. So 1 over 2 is just always half. So we have a straight line here. Over here, this point just converges to 1. And then as it approaches the asymptote, it just goes up, straight up to towards infinity. Very close to the asymptote, but not touching it. Um, you shouldn't do what I did here. It looks like I'm touching the asymptote as the graph goes down to negative infinity. If you're writing a test, you probably shouldn't do that, just as a heads up. So I hope this made sense, and, um, and thank you for watching. Let's see if I can stop this video. <laughs> thank you.